Hi everyone, so in this video I want to show how you can manually code contrasts uh, with R. So first I'm going to load a data set from the library NAS. Um, and uh, this data set is called Anorexia. We're going to call it data. Um, right here, so here's my data set. You can see it here. Uh, we have three groups, control, CBT, family therapy. So we're actually going to look at how this group variable is coded by using the contrasts function data dollar sign treatment. And if we look at that, we see that actually it is dummy coded. Um, and here a CBT is used as reference uh, group here with zero and zero here. And we have a dummy for control and a dummy for family therapy. So you might want to use another type of coding, which will have an incidence, of course, on how uh, the, the variable is used in various models. Uh, for example, here, if I run a linear model with the LM function, uh, I'm going to call it fit, uh, with the LM function, uh, first argument is the data, uh, so for, sorry, first argument is the formula, formula, and so the formula is going to be uh, I'm going to use the post weight here. So um, post weight given as a function of a treatment group. And then uh, the data is data set called data. I'm going to run that. And if I look at a summary of this, you're going to see that actually what you have here are the two dummy variables. So if you want to use your own contrast, you'll have to code them uh, using this function. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this again and look at what it looks like. Um, and we're going to reproduce that with our own values. So we're actually going to create our own matrix here. So I'm going to create a new matrix, which will have this, which will have similar features as this. It's going to have, therefore, three rows and two columns like this one. And then I'm going to provide the data, and the data is by default provided uh, by column and not by row. And so the data, I'm going to provide directly a vector, and I'm going to put my two uh, contrasts here. So um, let's say, for the sake of the example, I want to compare the control group, which is the second one here, with the other two first. So um, I could use a contrast such as uh, one third for uh, the CBT group, minus two thirds for uh, the control group and one third for the family therapy group. And then my second set of uh, uh, contrasts here would be for, uh, would, replace, would replace this one. So for this one, I'm actually going to leave aside, I could leave aside the control group, which I've uh, uh, separated here from the other two. Um, so I'm gonna set aside this control group and I'm going to compare CBT with FT. So I'm going to do minus one half for CBT zero, leaving it aside for the control group, and one half for family therapy. And then I'm going to run that. Boom. So this is what the matrix looks like. Okay, so this will replace eventually these values. What I could do also is I could actually change the names. Uh, for example, with cold names, uh, change the names of this matrix. And I could say uh, simply, uh, the first one is C1, the second one is C2, naming my contrasts here. Okay, so now if I look again at my matrix, I have C1 and C2. They will appear in the outputs, in R and many outputs, so that can be useful to do that. And so the next step is I'm actually going to take this, right, the contrasts, and I'm going to replace them with the matrix I've created, like this. Now, when I look at these, the contrast again, I look at what they look like. Um, I now have my uh, contrast matrix ready, right? C1 and C2 here, and they correspond to what I want to do. The first one, the first contrast will contrast the control group with the other two, and the second contrast will contrast CBT with FT. And so I can check that it works, for example, by using uh, my linear model again. I'm actually going to use the same uh, right here. 
So the formula is uh, post weight is predicted by treatment. So the same formula, but this time you'll see that uh, it will actually use my contrast here and there. And this should work in many functions. For example, in multi-level modeling, you can uh, you can use that uh, using the AOV function. Also, uh, you can use um, uh, this type of um, a tool um, and essentially the way it works in R what's important to remember is that it is uh, very convenient to actually um, change the contrast directly uh, within the variable itself rather than within the analysis. Uh, that's it. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.